Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be packing for my New York holiday. I'm only going away for four nights, five days, let's add that, with my friends. There's six of us going for my friend's 30th birthday, Fliss. Uh, I think I need to cut down a bit. I've got far too many shoes. Oh my God, look at all those. More clothes up here. Right, I need to grab the uh, suitcase from the loft and make some serious decisions. Right, there's little Zara spectating on uh, the packing of the cases. I need to go into the loft and get my case. Off we go. Probably not the best idea to be climbing a ladder I've never had a glass of wine. <laughs> Gives you a bit of confidence, doesn't it? Oh, I just whacked my head. There's two of us. Look at this amount. Oh, how am I going to choose? Choose one. So I'm flying with Virgin, which means I get 23 kilos, which is pretty decent for a size of a suitcase. In fact, I get two because I'm I'm going I'm going premium economy with Fliss, the birthday girl. I was going to take this little tiny one here, but I'm thinking I might upgrade to a large one. I had this for my 30th birthday from Next. All my friends bought me a whole luggage set for my 30th, which was a good few years ago. Quite a bit damaged in transit though. Right, let's see if we can dig that one out. Oh, finally managed to get it out. That is a beast of a suitcase. So I'm going to get that downstairs and see what that weighs on its own. Right, I've got to get this down on the ladder somehow. Oh, in fact, I think it's got another one in it. Hang on. Right, take two. Getting the big old Bertha down the stairs. Right, I've got to get it down there. I hope I don't drop it on the dog. Okay, so it's over six kilos before I've even started. So before anybody says that is a massive case. I'm six kilos down. Because I'm quite short, a lot of my clothes don't even need to get bent in two or creased. So I'm going to talk you through each bit of clothing that I've got and then decide if it's going in or not. Right, let's start with the old shorts. We've got three pairs over here. These are a lovely pair of cheeky shorts. I love these with all this sort of um, embroidery on. I've got these from, I'll tell you where I've got them from. I'm gonna, not going to tell you how much they are, but where I've got them from. These are a pair of Matalan. Uh, go with a lot of stuff. They've got the red and the orange and obviously the navy and blue denim in there. So they match a lot of things and also would go with white. A pair of these cheeky bad boys. I covered these on a, a previous haul. I got these from Pep & Co in Poundland. Um, I got them in the sale and they fit me like an absolute glove. They are quite short, but a lovely, nice pair of black denim shorts, which, you know, matches everything, doesn't it? Now, this pair is a little bit smarter. If we go anywhere that we need to be a little bit more tasteful, these are almost like a linen mix, uh, but they're actually from Primark, so I'm not going to big them up too much. But I absolutely love the colour of these and... Um, the stripy design, I think they're really nice and when I w I've tried them on before, they are very flattering and they fall nicely and because the denim is quite thick and heavy, these are a little bit cooler. So all of these so far, they're a size 8, I think they're a size 8, I think these are a 10, let me check, because these are a bit big. Oh no, they're an 8, but they do come up very big, the Matalan ones. Trousers or... I don't really want to be wearing trousers, but some sort of capri pants, maybe. These are from Per Una. And these are just, if you look closely, they're like a white, uh, a blue and white stripe, like a denim and white stripe. And these are quite nice if you roll them up. And I actually had these from a charity shop. So I dread to think how much they were normally, Per Una's, but yeah. I got them from the charity shop. These are some of my favourite jeans. I absolutely love these. I had these from, I bought them in Italy actually. And uh, for me, they were quite expensive. They were about £35, I think. 
but I love them. Um, they're not overly skin tight, they are slightly baggy, which at the moment, in fact, they weren't baggy when I bought them, but I lost a bit of weight since. Um, I, but I love them, they've got like a couple of uh, diamantes on, and then some sort of printed stuff, and then a bit of, you know, like bleached. And these are, actually, they look quite smart when they're on, so um, I'm going to take those, and they probably will be bought worn in the evening. Right, I've got, you can hardly see those on the top of the bed. Uh, I've got two pairs of white jeans now. Uh, I think I'm getting a bit too many pairs here. So these are a shorter pair, which again can be rolled up. Got a little bit of a nice little bit cutty bit there. These I had just recently. These were a size 10, and these were from Matalan. These actually come up quite small, so I sized up in these a little bit. Um, but these are nice to roll up, and I like them with... Uh, a little bit of a belt because you can see through the hoops or the loops whatever you call it so they're nice they would do day or evening actually so I've got these full length white jeans for a change they're not jeggings which I always tend to live in uh, these are just from Primark again size 8 these, these fit really nicely um, probably need the belt so I should be taking that for both pairs because they do thing with me, my thighs fill them out, but sometimes around the waist things are a bit baggy, so I always tend to need a bit of a belt. Now, I have got some other trousers over there, but I'm thinking, do I really need them? I've got a pair of just slouchy... Well, they're like gym leggings, really, to be honest. I thought maybe... I'm going to see a game of baseball, so I thought maybe they'd do with something a bit more cash. I've got a pair of black footless leggings. Well, that's what leggings are. Um, these are new. I covered these on a recent haul. These were from Primark. These are the Shaper leggings. Um, and I'm thinking I might wear those with a blouse I'll show you in a bit in the evening. I've got these as well. These are sort of a cropped jegging for the days when you're feeling like you need something a bit more comfortable. They were from... Matalan size 10 these must be about six or seven years old I've had them absolutely ages the right pair of old faithfuls been through the wash so many times and still look as good right I'm going to whiz through a few items now because that's getting a bit boring doing all of that so uh, a few t-shirts got three here this navy one that I bought from uh, Primark for a pound and I actually said I was going to wear it for bed but now I've ironed it, I quite like it, but I'm just not sure about the uh, slogan, but that'd be nice with jeans or shorts, as would this one, again, another Primark. Got this in the summer for the purpose of wearing it in bed, but actually quite like it as a normal T-shirt. And then this one is from last year. This is a Matalan one with the nice ruffled sleeves. And then I've got some halter neck or boob tube tops. I've just got a plain black one there. That one's from Jane Norman. I like that because it's sort of a sweetheart neckline and is gathered around the bust. So, because my bust is not too big, it just looks a little bit better. This orangey coloured one from Matalan matches a pair of the shorts that I showed you earlier. And then this one here, this is actually a little bit longer. This is more like, um, it's not a dress, but... It's more like a full length top with uh, the halt neck and it's lovely because it's got the blue in it so it matches denim really nicely. And then I've got some lovely nude coloured shoes that will go with that and a pair of jeans. Then just quickly on to PJs, just got myself one t-shirt and a couple of sort of short pants. Two pairs of those, don't change those every night but every other night just shorts they were all from Primark then we're going to a pool party no less <laughs> I've always wanted to go to a pool party and I'm finally getting the chance so not sure I'm going to feel on the day so I've got two options Miss Miss Legal hmm. this I love this as, as uh Swimming costumes go. I think this is really quite special. I love the print on it. And it's quite high leg. Not too high leg though, considering I am 43. And uh, just a nice 
scoop neckline with the halter neck strap absolutely love that or if we're feeling a bit more daring again absolutely love this but it depends how i feel on the day this is from la senza and that is just a bikini underwear won't focus on this for too long black and white grundies black and white bra and then i've got these these are brilliant these were from primark strapless bras and they're really really comfortable give you a bit of support because they've got a bit of padding in as well uh but they just look so much nicer than dodgy strapless bras really like those and then some socks got some uh, little tiny trainer things that you can't see and then some proper socks as well and then you can't go to to new york without going around central park and i'm hoping for a run or two nothing major just 5k or something uh so we've got a couple of nike t-shirts there nike bottoms uh, adidas trainers which i may do some walking in as well i've given them a good old clean up with the pink stuff and they've come up brand new and then I want absolute comfort on the plane because it is a bit of a, a longer flight. I think it's about seven or eight hours. Might not even be that long. Uh, I've gone for this just very, very comfortable, sort of actually slightly woolen. This is just in the August uh, clothing in Primark. That's new. I've not worn that before. These, these are very, very, they're like joggers, but extremely thin. Um, just like a cotton material they're really really comfortable crease a bit they go a bit big at the old knees but they look nice when you first put them on they are again from Primark oh I'm all Primarked just realized and then this just a hoodie that I shall tie around my waist and then I should be wearing these new trainers look at those beauties uh, actually treated myself to these these are Kurt Geiger's from uh, Debenhams 70 pounds they are absolutely, they're like wearing socks. They've got like memory foam as well. So comfortable. But they will look hopefully quite nicely with that little uh, salmon ensemble. And I've got a matching rucksack to go with that. And then for a jacket again, because it's sort of in between, I'm going to take some cardigans as well. I've just got this uh, dingy denim jacket, which is a bit distressed in places absolutely love it it's really um soft and comfortable and very versatile it's quite a, a dark um denim just a couple of cardigans i've got one in navy this one's from primark and then there's a black one that's just very similar from next now moving over to more casual wear absolutely love this this is a brandy i uh, got this from matalan again in the summer but i've not worn it yet just a really nice plain t-shirt but just with some lovely detail on the arm and at the bottom just like um this daisy print really like that i think that's not going to crease either so that will go really nicely with either uh, a pair of shorts or a pair of cropped jeans really like this top as well this is a little bit different for me but i absolutely love it um, I got this one from Italy in the summer and it's sort of a bat wing style and it's got, if you can see, it's got a bit of um, silver thread going through it. So it's longer at the back and shorter at the front and I shall put that with just a plain white uh, vest top underneath with a pair of jeans. So that's just in case it's a little bit chilly of an evening. Next is this Daisy Duke style top. I absolutely love this. Uh, I got this from Primark as well. Uh, this summer that's just gone. Again in a size 8. And I have worn this. Well, twice so far. But I really like it with a pair of white jeans. Or it even goes with denim jeans to be honest. It's really comfortable. Doesn't crease. And I think it's quite cute. So we're going to go out for a nice meal one night. So I thought I'd include this uh do you call them jumpsuits i'm not quite sure when they're long legged it's not the same as a play suit is it this is from good old boho boohoo no boho I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that uh it's really comfortable it's navy it's got a couple of pockets on it doesn't crease i'm gonna pair that with a nice pair of heels So I bought this recently. This is an autumn uh, newbie in Primark. 
and I'm going to put a black vest underneath it and pair it with those leggings that I showed you earlier. So I'll either wear it done up or open. And then we move on to shoes. This might be a decision for tomorrow because there's a heck of a lot of decision making there because I clearly can't take all that lot. A couple of items for YouTubing. These are new, got these off Pound, from Poundland. I haven't used them yet. Probably, I um, don't know, I'm not holding out much hope. They might fall apart, but we'll have a go. We've got a tripod, tripod stand and a selfie stick. Right, the final few items now are toiletries, makeup. Here is most of my toiletries. Well, not all of them, but it's a good start. So we've got, got myself a little mirror. Love this. Don't you find when you go abroad, they never have the right mirrors for your face? Uh, we've got a brush, comb, lady items, just in case. Tiger bar balm, in case there's any mozzies. Hairspray, comb, brush, sun protection. In here, I've got a selection of makeup brushes, all my faves. This one here is all my actual makeup, and likely I'll use all of this. But we've got lip glosses, lip balm, we've got bronzers, highlight. I love that. Charlotte Tilbury, that's a really nice one. And then I've got some cheaper stuff. Blush, mascara, a bit of two chocolat, in case anybody has, has any... Uh, Dark circle issues, maybe from drinking too much Venus. In here, we've got a little bit of mousse, um, some moisturiser. So I've used these. I've, I've done this on another video where I've packed all these already up, ready to grab and go, and we've been able to do it on this occasion. We've got the moisturiser, conditioner and sh shampoo to match. Got some toothpaste in there, toothbrush deodorant skincare more skincare oh and hair stuff as well and eyeshadow palettes I've got two of those don't know why i've got two it's ridiculous and um a few hair bits donuts and then all i've got left to do is pack the last few bits into the case tiny little bit of jewelry watch and necklace uh, i don't really swap out my earrings because alan bought me some lovely diamonds so i don't like to uh let them away from my body uh technology bits there's all chargers in there and leads uh and then we've got fliss's bits my rucksack to go away with that little bag over there that is a beaut that's from primark and i got it in a sale for something like ridiculous like three pounds and it's an over the over body bag so it's perfect just for an evening and then on there we've got some sunglasses in the case uh, just a fold away bag because I'm hoping we might do a little bit of shopping now check out these bobby dazzlers I'm going to put some false nails on because my nails are wretched look at these going to be like a unicorn I wouldn't want normally wear anything like this they're really long they're really sparkly but because I'm not doing any gym work I'm putting them on yeah, I think we're nearly there now gosh that's taken a lot of hard work Right, so I've got my shoes in the top depart uh, top compartment of this case. I've never used this bit before. I always just sort of left it flapping around. But this is pretty snazzy, isn't it? So I've got running trainers, a uh, pair of wedges, the nudie pink shoes. I've dropped the tan pair. A pair of Converse in uh, denim and sort of a pink colour. High heels, just in case I need those one night. Slip-ons of some description. And another pair of comfy pumps. So that's me, New York ready. Bring it on. I can't blooming wait. So there it is, repacked and packed. This bit's jam-packed full, as is this bit.